Hey, what's up all my Scorpio people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a general reading timeless. This could be for anybody with um, Scorpio placements in your chart. I'll tell anybody tarot card readings that I can advise you to take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below, okay? So let's get this thing started. I'm going to pull about three cards from my Black Moon Astrology deck. Okay, first things first, Taurus, I have. So, something about your money, okay? Or it could be a Taurus, or it could be your placements, okay? Oh, let's wait till then. It's like six. Okay. Venus, love. So, your Venus could be in... Isn't Venus... Doesn't Venus rule... The second house, Taurus? Don't give me the line. I ain't that far in astrology. Hold on. But could. Like it rules luxury. Let's see. Then you have water element. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's at the bottom? Earth element. Okay. So um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So some of your placements could be um your Venus or your Sun sign. Um could be in of course scorpio pisces cancer capricorn taurus or virgo or you could be dealing with somebody like that in your love life capricorn taurus virgo okay. pull one of the major arcanas for you out of this day The Hierophant here. Taurus, again. Taurus, again. Let's see. What's here? The Chariot. Okay, so. Let's see, you guys. Let's get your angel number. So, I feel like you're also saying that there's something that maybe you had a feeling about. Um... Scorpio. It could involve your money. But I feel like God is kind of taking over something. Because maybe you or the person you're dealing with, maybe somebody had a feeling that somebody wouldn't do right. So somebody's not focused on their money. It's interesting enough. Telling you, somebody focus on their money. At the bottom, you have 99. I am courageous. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. And the trip eights. I am abundant. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, so Aries got this. So you guys might be dealing with an Aries or an Aries Taurus Cusper. It says, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. That's why I said God is kind of taking over because I feel like somebody is either dropping a ball because they're not paying attention to this person or this person is doing something or maybe you had a feeling about this person or something like that. But God is taking over. It's hard to say. Especially with the, the hair font here and the cherry being on the bottom. They're like, I got this. I got it. Don't worry about Scorpio. I got it. Oh. Okay. So, so many fell out, but I'm going to put them back. I'm going to take one. Let me just get one. I cannot make this up, y'all. I got the crybaby card, but it's Taurus. The snitch, Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> okay, um, and you have the world here at the bottom. It's uh, nothing was the same. It's the Drake album, right? Um, so the world here. 
So somebody drinking and driving, that's why I said somebody in their feelings. And it says, my high school reunion might be worth an appearance. Make everybody have to go through security clearance, okay? So you're five out of my city. So somebody could be from Miami or you could be taking a trip to Miami. Um, and it literally says, nothing was the same. And under, I have period. Okay, so December 4th. Also, might be a significant day or January 2nd, January 4th. Okay, those might be some significant dates coming up for you. Um, but whoever this Taurus is or this earth sign or something like that, they don't need to be in your life. Or it could be reversed. Maybe you don't need to be in their life. Scorpio, are you the snitch? Are you the crybaby? I don't know. But I feel like, and, and this is why I say that. Because I had a dream last night, literally. I think I told this to Leo, my very first reading that I pulled today. Um, that I really felt like it was an energy of, I was in my dream. It was this person that I thought I had wrapped up business with a long time ago. But they came back causing trouble because they were mad about something that they did wrong. Okay. So just be cautious of people like that. They were a Scorpio, but it could be um, a Taurus. So let's see. Let's see what all of this means. Let's get a couple of regular tarot. What's the Taurus I have? Ah, the judgment in reverse. You've been warned. Warning. I'm not going to warn you no more. They're saying that's three times. Taurus came up three times. Or there's something that happened in Taurus season that is coming back. So, uh, in the April, beginning of May, something this past year could have happened. This person just cannot be fucking trusted. What's Venus? Love. I'm sorry. And you know it. Or they warned you about this person prior to the Page of Cups is in reverse. You, this person, they don't, so they're in and out your life or, you know, they apologize or something, but they really don't mean it. I'm hearing, um, it's that R. Kelly sound like, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Like, but I feel like he was saying he didn't mean what he was doing. This person don't mean their apology. They don't mean it. Nine of Cups, wishes come true. It's like they just do it to get get what they want temporarily or to get you to do something that they want. They're very selfish part people. I feel like this person in high school, um, they may have gotten picked on or something like that. And now they're kind of like, you know, because um, I don't never normally get this energy, but with this, the snitch here and how this person can't be trusted, all of this. It says, my high school reunion might be worth an appearance, make everybody have to go through security clearance. So to me, maybe this person got picked on or something or, you know, something. It was something about them in high school that was different. And I feel like they're trying to transform who they are or something. And they're using you to make that happen. Or they have some type of insecurity. Like, and for some of you guys, don't be drinking and driving here with this water element here. Um, Yeah, the King of Cups came out in reverse. So, remember I was like, the universe is taking over. So, this person might literally, like, go to jail. Like, um, this person is money hungry. It says, uh, cream, cash rules, everything around me. Six of Pentacles is here. The gift is the gift is the universe taking snatching this person. I know it says snitching, but I'm also getting snatching. The universe is snatching this person out of your life. And then you'll see that as soon as this person is out of your life, how things just start to manifest. How how the universe is it's like God is like or your higher ups, your DTs, whoever you believe in. They're just cramming this abundance in your life. It's pretty fucking cool if you ask me with these eights here. Let me get one. Oh, 
wanted to come out. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And and I, and it's funny because it flipped out and flipped over, right? So, it's going to seem like you're not in control anymore, right? It's going to seem like that. It's going to feel like that because you're not. The universe had to take over. You have another six here. Another, the same card, six of pentacles. Reciprocity Avenue. What you're giving to this person, they're not giving back. They're just taking, 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 taking. If they do give to you, I mean, cool. You know what I'm saying? Financially, but they're still taking away from you emotionally. With the king and the page both being in reverse. This person is not pouring into you emotionally the way they should. <coughs> I'm here. Love don't feel like this or or um love shouldn't feel like this or something like that. Astrology destiny. You remember I'm telling you, it's something you can't control this shit. Feather messages. You can't control it. And what you, but you need to listen to the universe and what they're saying. But they're they're taking over, but they're actually they're talking to you too. They're telling you, I feel like they're actually gonna give you an explanation to why. You know what I'm saying? Just like I'm trying to tell you, like, yeah, I had that dream last night. Um, I'm here, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Okay, so I feel like yeah, I'm courageous. I ain't got time for that. Like, you know what? I'm gonna leave that be. I feel like you guys are leaving something in the past. Because the universe is, there's there's nothing you can do about it. They're just taking this shit out. They're taking this shit out. Like, Sagittarius, Capricorn season is about to be lit for you. I feel like those are the two prominent zodiac signs in this card besides this one. I think that's, is that the Virgo? The Maiden? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys, all right. I don't know. So, the universe is taking over. Just, guys, be aware of it. Okay? So, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how that resonates. Um, If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and do so. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So, until next time, y'all already know what it is. I'll let it play with you soon. Bye.